What's up gamers? Today we're going to be playing Flappy Birds. Just kidding, this video is going to be an in-depth explanation and strategy guide of how to complete the challenges and unlock Pack-a-Punch for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombie Map 9, as you can see from the title. This video is going to be more for beginners, so if you're more experienced, this may not be what you're looking for, but don't be afraid to stick around and watch as you might learn something new. Later on, hopefully before the end of this week, I'm going to make a video on how to get the Brazen Bull and how to get the Wonder Weapon, and the Ultimate Easter Egg when I find out how to do it. Before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not the type of guy to ask you to like and subscribe. So, I'm not gonna ask. So obviously, I'm not that high of a level or a pro whatsoever, but if you guys have no idea what you're doing and just need someone's loadout to copy, I'll explain mine here. Feel free to skip to the next part, I'll put a timestamp on the screen now to show when the actual tutorial starts. First off, I'm using the SX Model 07 as my starting weapon for, for one of the possible challenges you can get that I'll explain later on, and it's just because I like it. Next up for my perks, I'm using Stamina Up, Dying Wish, Deadshot Dealer, and quick revive. Stamina up is pretty self-explanatory. It makes you run faster and longer, essentially. Dying Wish allows you to go invincible once you're about to die for 9 seconds and just go berserk. Deadshot Dealer is literally just headshot aimbot. And last but not least, quick revive. I probably shouldn't have to explain that. For my equipment, I'm using the frag, just because I, it's easy to use, and it's also for one of the challenges that I'll explain later on. For my special weapon, I'm using the hammer of Valhalla, just because you feel awesome smashing zombies' faces in, and it's really overpowered. My elixirs are Dead of Nuclear Winter, which spawns in a nuke power-up that kills a bunch of zombies. Nowhere but here is an elixir that allows you to teleport to a down player's location, good for carrying a bad team. Equipment, haha, <laughs> which is a pretty sleek name is for refreshing cooldowns on equipment like your grenades. I'm using it for one of the challenges that I'll also explain later on. And lastly, I'm using the cashback, which spawns in a max ammo because who doesn't like a free max ammo? If you guys are wondering why some of my elixirs are different colors than yours, it's because I have different rarities that I bought in the store. You can do this too by going to laboratory. You can see in the top right you have these little elixir currencies. I have 38 right now because I just bought some. But uh, if you, you can buy one of these combos for 30, 45, or 75. I used the 75 twice, which guarantees a rare or better elixir, two random elixirs, and a guaranteed talesman. So now that we're done with all that stuff, let's get right to the video. So as you can see here, uh, I have BeautyMan8 with me, or Fortnite.Farming on Instagram. He's going to be with me in the next couple of videos, so expect him. So when you spawn into the arena, there's going to be a flag on each side of you, four in total around the arena. There's a rope connecting them, holding them up in the air. You want to go up to one of them and cut them. I don't think it matters which one uh, you cut down, but I usually cut down the one to the right to the left of the spawn. As soon as you cut down the rope, you're going to notice a little toolbar pop popping up on the left side of your screen. This is a challenge. You'll, you'll get one of three challenges. Get five consecutive headshots, get six equipment kills, or get uh, 13 knife kills. So as you can see, my challenge is to get 6 equipment kills. So as you see here, I'm training the zombies up into a circle to throw a grenade at them. I usually let it tick 3 times, and then let it explode. As soon as you complete your first challenge, it might take a couple of rounds, so don't worry. Go to the stage in the middle, and go to the podium that is the color of the banner you cut. You'll notice a little heart waiting for you. Hold square to grab it, and you will achieve a second challenge. For your second challenge, it will also be one of the three challenges that I said earlier. As you can see, my second challenge was to get 13 knife kills. Remember, for this one you don't have to deal all the damage with your knife. You can get them low with your weapon and then get the final blow with your knife, which is nice for the later rounds. I didn't get the third challenge that I talked about, which is get 5 consecutive headshots. This challenge is the reason why I have the rifle as my starting weapon. If you don't want to use this as your starting weapon, or you're just not a high enough level, you can head over to the wall in the center stage and purchase it for 500. So now that you've finished your second challenge, head back to the stage and grab your reward from the podium and claim your reward. You will now have your third challenge. Your third challenge is almost always get 10 kills with your special weapon. If you look at the bottom right of your screen, next to your equipment, you will see your special weapon. Most likely it's not charged yet, so what you want to do now is work on charging it up by killing zombies. Once it's fully charged, you can press L1 and R1 to activate it. Before you do this, make sure there's at least 10 zombies left in the round and near you because your special weapon only lasts a few seconds. So if you don't get all the kills in one go, you'll have to wait until it's recharged again, which can be a pretty big pain. So now that you've gotten all the kills with your special weapon, you want to once again head back into the center stage area. 
This time your reward will be more worthy. It's a pack punch pistol. It's fully automatic and does a crazy amount of damage that is worthwhile for quite a few rounds. Also, it will be a huge help for the next part of this tutorial. So now that you've gotten the pack punch pistol, you should have a ton of points saved up. I actually head to the gate to the right of the spawn area. You're going to want to travel up the stairs on your right and look for the ancient looking bell. Once you do this, hold square on the bell to summon a champion. Look at the spot where I look on the screen, and the moment you see him, spray him down. If you do so fast enough, you can kill him before he even jumps down, like so. After I kill the first champion, I usually head through the bridge on the left to go straight to the second champion. A nice tip for killing the champions is to leave one or two zombies left so you don't get swarmed like I do in a second. Once heading into the second room, look for the bell on the right in the spot where I head to and summon the second champion. For me, it was the gladiator, so it took a few more shots. If you happen to get the gladiator like I do, you're going to want to run around because he will throw axes at you that do 50 a hit. As you keep shooting him, you will knock his limbs and armor off so that you know when you're starting to get him low. I forgot to mention earlier, but as you can see, I've been picking up a blue drop after killing the champions. That is the skull of the champion you just killed, which I'll explain later. After killing him, head down the stairs and by this door in the dungeon, and head to the right and by the next door. Keep heading along the path that I do in the video until you reach the Temple of Zeus. By the door and keep going up the stairs until you hit the top floor, then summon the champion. In Paris, I go to the bathhouse to wash away the blood. Perhaps this is where it went. In this case, I got the four tigers in this part, which in my opinion is one of the easier champions. Just try to avoid letting them hit you because they have a chance to one-shot you. After eliminating the champion of Zeus, head across the other bridge and summon the final champion. Thankfully, I got the hardest champion last, which is pretty much the first two champions I got, except in one tower. This part really isn't as intimidating as it may seem. As long as you run around and don't let them hit you, you should be fine. Once finished eliminating them, pick up the head and go all the way down the stairs and by the gate at the bottom floor. Once here, you're going to want to turn to the left and keep going down the path that I do in the video until you hit the giant staircase on your right. Congratulations, you've just reached the middle area. This is where you can find the pack punch machine. Once here, head to the giant podium in the middle and hold square on the spikes to place the skulls of the champions that you killed. After a few seconds, it will explode, revealing the pack punch machine. You will also notice that it opened two doors that give you access to the outer hallways. Now, all you have to do from here is grind up to 5,000 points if you don't have them already, so that you have enough to pack a punch your weapon. Wow, that sure is a pretty weapon. I just want to say thank you guys if you made it this far. I know I really haven't made this kind of video before, and it might be rough in some areas, but I just bought two blue snowballs for making videos and hopefully streaming them in the near future. If you made it this far, comment, give me cockbox, and I will give you a heart. 
Make sure to comment what you noticed stood out in this video, whether it be good or bad, so you can help me improve. Okay, that's it, folks. See you in the next one. Thank you.